welcome and thank you for joining us for A Day in the Country, a concert of flute and piano music to help you relax and to be inspired. I'd like to introduce you to my wonderful pianist, David Harrod, and we are looking forward to taking you on a journey through some beautiful landscapes. We start our adventure early in the morning with Morning Mood by Grieg. Now, I had the great privilege of performing this in Red Square in Moscow with Valeria Gergiev conducting, but it was glorious sunshine. It was 36 degrees, which was a bit inappropriate because this music describes dawn with the sun's rays finally breaking through at the first forte section.
Down a Country Lane by Erin Copeland was originally a piano piece commissioned by Life magazine and it featured in a June edition in 1962 in a photographic essay with the rather long title One and Two and that old refrain as the joys of the piano spread across the land. I decided I would look up the front cover and see what other news items were around at that time and so I've attached a link in the information below this concert, along with links to David, to the wonderful St. Helen's Church that we're playing in, and a lot more besides, so do have a look if you're interested. Our next piece is Spring Song by Mendelssohn. Now, Mendelssohn wrote that some people complained to him that music was unclear, that they didn't really understand the meaning, and that perhaps some words would help. His reply was really interesting. He said, what the music I love expresses to me is not too indefinite to put into words, but too definite. The most famous of his songs without words has a picturesque title, Spring Song, and it gives us the perfect setting for our day in the country. Thank you. 
Lloyd Webber was the father of Andrew and Julian Lloyd Webber, and Mulberry Cottage was the name of the holiday home that they used to hire as a family. So as we play, you can imagine the beautiful countryside surrounding it in this lovely piece as we pay them a visit. speaking role here to introduce the next uh, piece. Uh, we're taking you back to the 60s, <coughs> which I think I'm safe in saying Anne would not remember, but I certainly do. Um, one of the less contentious aspects of the 60s <coughs> was the uh, fact that the pop charts were often graced with instrumental numbers or even jazz numbers if you were lucky. And um, this is <coughs> one of them. It's written by a German uh, classically trained jazz musician, Horst Jankowski, uh, who actually went on to make a, quite a career in uh, a wonderful genre, easy listening. Um, I hope you find this easy to listen to. It's The Walk in the Black Forest.
Marrow Down by Edward German describes a place I know really well as I have a lovely friend who lives there. This song takes its lyrics from Rudyard Kipling's Just So Stories and also mentions Guildford and the River Way, some of which um, some of you might live there, might have visited it or know it well. The lyrics are in the text below this concert and I'd also love to take this opportunity to welcome the members of the Kipling Society watching. Country Gardens is an old English folk tune, traditionally used for Morris dancing, something I am really fortunate to have seen quite a bit of when I was younger, having grown up in Dorset. The Australian composer and folklorist Percy Granger helped popularise this tune from the 20th century by arranging it for a piano version in 1918. I think he was probably quite a character and I'd love to have met him because uh, later in his life he commented, the typical English country garden is not usually used for growing flowers. It's more likely to be a vegetable plot, so you can think of turnips as I play it. So whether you think of flowers or turnips or any other features of the countryside, we hope you enjoy Country Gardens by Percy Granger. Thank you. 
watching. Thank you for your wonderful emails where you let me know which pieces you've particularly enjoyed, suggestions for other pieces for future concerts, and thank you so much for your donations towards your <coughs> ticket cost, because actually that's what allows us to plan future concerts. We've really enjoyed playing for you today, and we're going to finish off with a piece by Eric Coates. Actually, his early music was very inspired by Edward, Edward German, who we performed earlier. But a lot of Eric Coates' later music is um, melodies that you will definitely have heard and recognise, whether it's the Dam Busters March or the Sleepy Lagoon, which is used for Desert Island Discs. This piece, In a Country Lane, is in a similar lilting style to the Sleepy Lagoon. And so perhaps we can use it as a picture of us walking tiredly but contentedly back home at the end of a lovely day in the country. Thank you ever so much for watching. Goodbye.